It's better than launching off the top of Mount Everest. Virgin Orbit CEO Dan Hart is talking about launching a rocket off a Boeing 747. It's one of the ways the company is looking to differentiate itself from competitors, who all launch from the ground in the red-hot small satellite launch market. What kind of performance advantage are we talking about? We get somewhere between 10 and 20 percent improvement by flying on the aircraft, and it also allows us to get above the thick air that you have at sea level. Because we get a performance advantage, we can make the rocket a little bit smaller, make the engines a little bit smaller, and less expensive. The advantages don't stop there. Virgin Orbit says theoretically its system can take off from most commercial airports. The company's 747 Cosmic Girl serves as a flying launch pad for their 70-foot-long Launcher 1 rocket. At 35,000 feet, the two-stage rocket is released from under the wings and ignites, deploying customers' lightweight satellites. The company says each launch will cost customers 10 to 15 million dollars, and Virgin is aiming to be operational by early 2019, having just completed its first test flight. Orbit already has contracts with NASA and the Department of Defense. Most people don't realize that the satellites are supporting us every day, so a lot of our customers are commercial enterprises who are setting up new applications for communication, for tracking ships, for mobile communication. Why did you want to get into the small sat space? It's very expensive today to put satellites into space and you have to wait for sometimes six months a year before you get a, a, a slot on a big rocket to get them up there. So we thought that if we could take it up to 35,000 feet, drop the rocket and then fire it off into space, we would have a lot of advantages over any, any competitors. Kelly Latimer pilots Virgin Orbit's 747 Cosmic Girl, a retrofitted Virgin passenger airplane. This does not look like a typical 747. Why is it completely stripped inside? Part of that was just to get rid of the extra weight. The total weight we took out is about 50,000 pounds, and the weight of the rocket is going to be about 58,000 pounds. So it kind of lets us put a, rock, yeah, put a rocket on without really eating the weight increase. Latimer performed the first captive carry flight of its Launcher One rocket but says she's really excited for the company's next major milestone, its first orbital flight. I look forward to the day where it's the actual rocket, it's got the fuel on board, and we're gonna just go up there, drop it, and see it you know, go off in front of us. While Virgin Orbit inches closer to that milestone, competitor Rocket Lab recently launched six small satellites into low Earth orbit. Rocket Lab says it hopes to complete 16 launches next year a number Virgin Orbit would like to top. We expect to be launching 20, 30, maybe more times a year. I could easily see us doing uh, missions much further than low Earth orbit, going to GEO, going to lunar, going to Mars. The demand, I think, for small satellites around the Earth um, is enormous. There's about four billion people are not connected. They all want to be connected. 